The purpose of my talk is a background or introduction to light steel frame building. Uh, what is it and what does it offer? It consists of cold formed steel sections that is made from using galvanized uh, steel sheet, thin gauge, high strength steel sheet. Uh, it is manufactured on integrated design and manufacturing facilities, uh, the CAD CAM uh, type of manufacturing. Uh, it's optimally designed to provide the required strength and it's used for roof trusses and walling systems. And uh, incidentally, it's been around for a very long time. Uh, they've used it in the state since the early 60s. Um, and for some other reason, it never really took hold in South Africa until now. As far as aesthetic appeal or acceptability, or uh, that is irrelevant if one looks at the speed of construction and the thermal efficiency. As far as quality goes, it's tried and tested. It's been around in the US, Europe and Australia. It complies with the rational design requirements of the South African building regulation. Uh, we do have a South African national standard, SANS 517, that applies to light steel frame building. Uh, these uh, buildings are structurally sound. Each structure is signed off by an engineer. And only quality certified materials are to be used. The thermal insulation is far superior to a double skin brick wall. Uh, the R value of uh, the wall specified in SANS 517 ranges between 1.9 and 2.2. Now the higher the R value, the better the insulation. A double skin brick wall has an R value of 0.66. So uh, the light steel frame has three times uh, the insulation or the R value. There's less than 2% wastage of all materials. Um, the, typically the builders, when they have to uh, take the uh, building rubble away, normally after a residential building project, uh, you have five or six truckloads of rubble uh, that is broken bricks and the like uh, that has to be removed. Whereas with light steel framing, the guy says he puts his rubble for the day in a black bag and puts it in the boot of his car. Uh, it is durable. Uh, research has been done and uh, conclusions drawn, this is now by the Americans and the Europeans, uh, that predicts that a, a light steel frame building, that the steel inside the building envelope will last more than 600 years. It is lightweight. The mass per square meter of a light steel frame wall is 36 kilograms, compared with 450 kilograms for a double skin brick wall. Uh, that is about 10% of the mass. And for that 10%, you get this sufficient structural strength and you get uh, three times uh, the insulation value. It can also be used for alterations of existing building or um, extension, vertical, vertical extension. Put another floor on top. Due to the low mass, you're not going to uh, bother your foundations too much. Sustainability, the greenness of light steel frame building I have referred to the very low uh, volume of um, scrap or waste that is generated in the process. Uh, we do have a logistical cost advantage than a calculation on a 200 square meter house. Walls only would have, in masonry, would have a mass of uh, 180 tons of brickwork and cement and sand. Whereas with light steel frame that is 11 tons. So it's 18 trucks versus two trucks, what we're looking at. So there's a logistical cost advantage. Most of the materials used are either already recycled or recyclable. And the other interesting thing is site water use. Now, as we all know, the next problem that is going to hit South Africa is drinking water. Um, light steel frame building uses no water on site except for what the people drink and uh, compare that with a masonry built building where on average you would have 300 litres per square metre of floor area. Approvals by authorities, three alternative routes of approvals, uh, there are prescriptive requirements, that is the conventional building, Agrimor certification, uh, and the thirdly, a rational design. There are a few Agrimor certificates out on light steel frame building, but in, uh, in the broad, we follow the rational design route, which means that an engineer uh, must, uh, he takes responsibility for the structure and he must sign it off when it's corrected, uh, correctly erected. 
The plan approvals for residential still via the NHBRC uh, must get enrolment and the local authorities will approve it. Our goal is to capture 10% of all new low-rise building projects um, in South Africa, which includes additions and alterations. So it is a, no longer a fledgling industry, it is certainly a growing industry. And uh, I was also asked just to briefly refer to challenges that were experienced. The first is the interface between conventional and light steel frame building, and that is uh, with regard to tolerances. Um, we would uh, like, because the steel is so accurate, on, on, a, on a wall, say 12 meters length, we would have a tolerance of plus or minus 2 millimeters. Whereas if you look at the concrete guys, uh, you know, if they're anywhere within 300 millimeters, they think they're doing well. Uh, we do have a lack of experience by the professions or a shortage of experience, and that is rapidly being uh, sorted out. What we are doing about it is, of course, is training. There are skill shortages for builders. We've developed a six-day training course uh, where we put guys through, and uh, that, that, is, that is going extremely well. Uh, and then, of course, the most asked question is, how much cheaper is it? Uh, we do not promote that it's being cheaper. We do promote it as being better. Uh, certainly energy efficient. Thank you.